Okay, I had to talk about this since you know all this hoo-ha going on in Pakistan, expel the ambassador, you know, they disrespect our religion, it's a religion of peace, if you don't believe it, we're going to behead you, you know, that kind of sort, we know that what's been happening in Pakistan. But the peaceful community has struck again, in France, again. A French police worker is stabbed in a terrorist attack near Paris in a police station. Now, this is a very sad story because if you think about it, you're like, man, that that woman just went to work just like any other day. And she had nothing to do with any cartoons or anything. Probably didn't even know what the whole hoo-ha was all about. So an administrative police worker was stabbed to death in an assault on a police station that investigators were treating as a terrorist attack. So she was not even a regular police officer. She was an administrative um, uh, officer. So she just basically worked there and just took took some phone calls and recorded complaints or something. She wasn't even a police officer. As I always say, they act like thugs in front of unarmed people or women and children. That's or how they act. This dear Pakistani did that in September last year after Charlie Hebdo had decided to uh, republish those cartoons and this genius this very intelligent bright young man from Pakistan who had gone to France as a asylum seeker he went there he went to an old office of Charlie Hebdo not knowing that Charlie Hebdo had moved a long time ago from that place and started randomly attacking unarmed people with his meat cleaver as I said always always attack unarmed people um, and then we know what happened to Samuel Patti. Again, this guy, Chechen, 18-year-old Chechen terrorist, um, walked up to the uh, unarmed teacher, Samuel Patti, attacked him from behind and then beheaded him. And then he was later shot dead himself. And then that made French President Emmanuel Macron to, to honor Samuel Patti um, and to give him a straight funeral. And he said, well, is this what you killed him for? Here it is. And they posted cartoons of Prophet Muhammad everywhere. I still think that maybe that was a bit a step too far because uh, a secular state shouldn't get involved in that. But, you know, no one's complaining. I ain't complaining because I'm watching this show. But not at the cost of this because this is what's happening after that, in the wake of that. So this, this guy was a Tunisian guy. He was a Tunisian man who had moved to... France several years ago, he was later shot dead by the police. French president has given a statement again. He said, we won't back down in the fight against Islam Islamist terrorism. I wouldn't even say Islamist. I would say Islamic terrorism. Mr. Macron is seeking a pass to, to pass a bill that criminalizes a range of activity the government deems separatist. Well, you got to ban the Quran first. <laughs> That's what you got to do, unfortunately. Um, I'm joking. You can't really ban religious books. But you gotta facilitate the criticism of Islam. You gotta f you you gotta pressure these social media giants that don't take down posts which are critical of Islam, which are critical of the Old Testament or, or Christianity or Hinduism, any religion. You you gotta facilitate that. Otherwise, this will keep happening because these radical people. There's no shortage of radical people. You know, you can't bomb an idea. How many how many jihadis? Is the French government going to shoot down? No, not man. You, you can't. The only way to change that is criticizing Islam, making people, de-radicalizing people, and making Muslims ex-Muslims. Um, that's the only way. There is no other way. And look, we are winning. I get. I've had. I, I'm not bragging, but I've. I get. I've. I've had thousands of messages where people have changed. I was speaking to someone in Urdu on my Urdu stream the other day. He said he literally used to hate my face. He said he found he found me the ugliest man on earth. And you know, like when I see those comments when people say, "Oh, look at this ugly, ugly human being," they're not saying ugly as an ugly heart. They're actually saying literally, "I have a very ugly face." <laughs> so and I'm like. And I never took those comments seriously because I thought that, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm no, I'm no Rithik Roshan or I'm not Brad Pitt, but I'm not ugly, you know, because look, if atheists have got, ex-Muslims have got me on this side, what have they got on this side? Zaki Naik? <laughs> so, so I never took that seriously, but he, this guy came on a call and he, and he told me, he said, 
Harris, I used to find you the ugliest man on earth because you attacked my religion. But then over time, he kept listening to me because I'm so charismatic and good looking too. But he didn't know that. <laughs> I'm joking. And he kept listening. And then he left Islam, ended up leaving Islam. And he said, now he finds me the most handsome man on earth. <laughs> it's just I it's just amazing how people's psyche works. If you if you don't like what's coming out of someone's mouth, you can start hating them. And then you hate them so much that even a reasonably okay looking person looks like the most ugliest and most hideous person to you. So my point is it's working. People do listen to us. This ex-Muslim movement is de-radicalizing people. And we're doing, not to self-congratulate a lot, but we are doing pretty important work. We are we are succeeding in changing that. But my condolences go to that um, police officer, well, the administrative police officer, uh, who ended up losing a life because some crazy radical terrorist thought that he could just avenge the honor of his prophet by murdering a random woman she was a 48 year old woman who had just gone to work just like any other day she went out for a break and when she was on her way back into the office he followed her stabbed her in the neck multiple times uh, her, the actual police officers other rest of the police officers from the police station came out shot him dead to help me produce more videos like these support me on patreon or paypal 